Hi, Rajiva Wijasinghe, who is the former State Minister of Higher Education in Sri Lanka and joins us now from Colombo. Thanks so much for speaking to us on TRT World. Um, first of all, I want to ask you what stood out for you in a Rajapaksa's inauguration speech? Well, I think he was obviously doing his very best to be conciliatory and positive. And I think this is important because there are certain perceptions that he might present himself as only the president of Sinhala Buddhists. I don't think that's at all likely because obviously he knows that to make a success of his presidency, he has to bring people together. But I think it's important that he stressed this both yesterday in the brief statement he made at the election secretariat and today. And I think he's approaching, you know, this overwhelming victory in, I think, the right spirit of conciliation. His rival, Sajid Premadasa, also spoke very well yesterday. And I suspect that uh, we can move forward if, uh, you know, Gotabe is allowed to work the way he has done in the past, uh, because he's a very efficient man. Okay. And that brings me precisely to my second point, because you coordinated, you worked in coordinating the peace process under uh, the former president's brother, uh, Rajapaksa. Um, tell us, how successful were efforts at that time to bridge the ethnic divides, and how much of an issue are they still now? Well, um, I say that I was a complete failure as advisor of reconciliation. You know, I drafted what I think was a very good reconciliation policy with the involvement of all other parties. But I fear that uh, President Rajpaksa, that's the former president, um, who was essentially a very generous man, was really rather surrounded by a few nasty people. And, you know, when I parted company with him, I was particularly upset by the behavior of the nastiest who actually hit one of our ambassadors. And he emerged a couple of weeks ago on the platform of the opposition. So I think the former president knows that he, what he should not do is trust sycophants who, uh, you know, in a sense want to show themselves up. But this was the problem with Mahindra Rajapaksa's last few uh, months in office. And I hope that Gotabe Rajapaksa was essentially uh, much more, you know, generous in his approach. Because I remember I uh, was urging the former president to have provincial councils elections uh, early after he won the war victory. Okay. And Gotab Rajbak said only he had said exactly the same. But some people around the president delayed these elections on the grounds that they could win them. And of course, they fared much worse. Okay. Because by 2013, the former president wasn't very popular. But I hope that we'll, you know, move on better this time. I think what the new president needs to do is actually work with the Tamil people and indeed the Muslim people and not the Tamil and Muslim politicians who have really shown themselves to be the most appalling rent seekers over the last 10 years. And that's been very, very sad. The Tamil people deserve much better than the bunch of scoundrels they've had representing them in parliament. You mentioned... Uh what he should focus on. I want to ask you, you know, what should be his uh, order of business, the priorities when he uh, gets into office? Security is a big issue, the economy, we know. Well, I think with regard to security, you know, the blunders of the last government were a disaster. And they clearly ignored the warnings that many uh, countries, including India, had provided us with. And I don't think Gautam Rajapaksa will make that mistake. But uh, while I think the country would feel secure under his presidency, he has far more important things to do as well while maintaining security. He's got to make sure that there's more equitable economic development. And, you know, under President Mahindra Rajapaksa, there was a lot of development in the north, you know, the infrastructure there, which was appalling before the war and made worse during the war, was rapidly improved. But there wasn't enough consultation and unfortunately, the Tamil politicians who wanted to, in a sense, exercise almost uh, autocratic powers in the north came as a barrier. And I think what the new president should do is strengthen the local government system and work together with what we call divisional secretariats, which is really where the main problems of the people lie. I used to do a lot of travel in the north, and I must say, Gautam Rajapaksa encouraged me. Um, he said, okay. just get out of Colombo and go and see the people there when I was first appointed uh, advice on reconciliation. And it is there that the problems lie. It is there that we have to really 
get down to the grassroots and find out what people really need. And, you know, there are lots of very simple things, better education, better health facilities, better transport, and I think very importantly, better markets, because at the moment, the agriculture of the country is in a mess in that uh, farmers get nothing for their produce. There's a lot of uh, money making by middlemen and a lot of deprivation Rajiva. of the, the uh, you know, fruits of their labor to the people. Okay. I hope he changes that rapidly. I'm, we're going to have to leave the interview there, but thank you very much for uh, sharing your thoughts and your time here on TRT World. Uh, Rajiva Wijisenga, uh, speaking to us from Colombo, former state minister in, in Sri Lanka. Thank you.